dear students today we are going to see in this video how to prepare an income and expenditure account and balance sheet of a non profit organization in the last class we have seen how to prepare a receipt and payment account here we are preparing an income and expenditure account and a balance sheet from a receipt and payment account here is a question before you you can pause this video and can write in a separate paper so that that can be used while solving the question so whatever doubt is there you can check with the question which you prepared so let us see the question once receipt and payment account of medicure society for the year ended 31st march 2020 is given below receipt and payment account for the year ended 31st march 2020 in receipt side opening balance of cash in hand and cash at bank is given subscription then donation general donation and specific donation for medical camp is given interest on investment at the rate of 7% is given then charity show proceeds given then special grant for polio eradication is given in the payment side we have medicines then medicine for polio so that is related to government grant for polio eradication then honorarium to honorarium to doctor salaries sundry expenses equipments that means asset purchase is given charity show expense is there then closing balance of cash in hand and cash at bank then some additional information is given so here salary subscription due subscription outstanding on opening and closing is given then subscription received in advance on opening and closing is given stock of medicines opening and closing is given then amount due to medicine suppliers so for the purchase of me medicine we have given we have to give uh, that means outstanding amount is there to pay to suppliers last year outstanding was there 80000 this year ending 120000 is there then equipments asset opening balance of asset for equipment and the building is given closing balance of uh, asset for equipment and building is given with that information we are going to prepare an income and expenditure account <coughs> sorry <coughs> so how to prepare an income and expenditure account first of all we have to write the name of the institution so in the books of medicure society then below that income and expenditure account for the year ended 31st march 2020 then heading we have to write expenses amount and income amount expenses amount and income amount then first first item here it is first payment was medicine see medicine purchase is there what 2 lakh 50000 but here in this this is just like p and l account so how much we have spent for medicine this year or how much medicine we have used this year that is what we have to write there in the income and expenditure account so for that purchase of medicine plus opening stock that means this year how much was there in the beginning then how much is purchased this year so total of medicine uh, how uh, that was there in this year then at the end of the year how much is remaining that is closing stock so the differ differences between the total of opening stock and purchase minus closing stock is the amount we used so purchase of medicine for that for the purchase we have paid this year but we don't know that how much is purchase this much 250000 is paid for medicine so 250000 is paid and 120000 is yet to be paid this year ending 120000 is to be paid so 120000 plus 2,50,000, 2,70,000 is total amount, uh, amount of expenditure for medicine. 
that means that much amount we have paid out of that 80000 is for the last year so 2 lakh plus 2 lakh 50000 plus 1 lakh 20000 3 lakh 70000 minus 80000 was the last year amount so how much was the medicine consumed here it is given medicine purchased ah uh, 1 lakh 20000 then 2 lakh 50000 minus last year 80000 2 lakh 90000 so how we calculated medicine purchased amount due to suppliers on closing plus payment for medicine then amount due to supplier on opening is deducted so 2 lakh 90000 then medicine consumed we have to calculate like this opening stock of medicine plus purchase of medicine minus closing stock of medicine so medicine consumed is equal to opening stock plus purchase minus closing stock so 2 lakh 40000 that we have to write here this calculation of medicine and calculation of subscription etc we will study in a separate video because these questions will be asked as a short answer questions so you may get four mark or three mark questions from these topics we will revise those topics once again in an another video so now medicine consumed is written then honorarium to doctor it was given as the next ex, uh, expense that is 1 lakh rupees then next uh, item was salaries so salaries we are writing amount 2 lakh 75000 next item was sundry expenses sundry expenses also written sundry expenses written the next next item was equipment equipment is an asset we have to write that in the balance sheet next item was charity show expenses charity show expenses we can write here but charity show income also was there in the question so charity show income or charity show proceed was there 30000 rupees out of that 10000 is expense so from 30000 we can deduct at uh, 10000 so that can be written in the income side after deducting 10000 from income remaining can be shown as an income outside so here after that assets are there equipments are given so we can write equipments asset we cannot write but we have to see that whether depreciation is there or not see equipments <coughs> opening stock 2 lakh 10000 was there opening balance of asset and purchased 1 lakh 50000 so 3 lakh 60000 we purchased so or 3 lakh 60000 value of asset we had but at the end of the year 3 lakh only is there there is no information regarding sale of asset so what happened to that asset how it is decreased that decrease in the value of assets due to wear and tear is called depreciation so that depreciation we will write here 3 lakh 60000 minus 3 lakh that that difference we write we will write here so depreciation on equipments how much 60000 is written next next asset is building building we had opening 4 lakh and closing 3 lakh 80000 no other purchase or sale so what happens 20000 is depreciated 20000 value of building is depreciated okay so these are all the as items on the expenses side then let us see the income side income side first item is subscription subscription how much we received 5 lakh 5 lakh is received but 5 lakh is received subscription due outstanding subscription on closing that is this year subscription only no that is not received so that amount also this year income only so 5 lakh 10000 Minus five thousand is the outstanding for the last year. 
opening outstanding means last year so this year outstanding closing outstanding will be added and opening outstanding will be deducted understood closing outstanding will be added because that outstanding is for this current year opening outstanding will be deducted because that outstanding is the amount for the previous year that they have, we have taken last year so no need to take here so 5000 can be deducted understood then let us see the case of advance closing advance 5000 is there what it means this year ending we received amount early amount early we received on closing date means next year amount we received this year so that is not related to this year so we have to deduct that because that income cannot be shown this year that will be shown the next year so closing advance will be deducted and what about opening advance opening advance means this year amount we received last year understood this year amount we received last year otherwise we can assume like this this year beginning we received this year beginning we received means also it uh, it shows that that income is for this current year so let us see once subscription outstanding on closing will be added and opening will be deducted you understood how why it is okay then subscription received in advance on closing will be deducted and opening will be added the treatment of outstanding and advance is just opposite okay so that's what we have written here subscription first item so 5 lakh received and add our closing outstanding closing outstanding 10000 is there then next one more item can be added no but it is opening advance both are added so both added we have got 5 lakh 20000 then which are the items to deduct ah opening outstanding and closing advance opening outstanding we deducted so remaining amount 5 lakh 15000 then again we have deducted closing advance so outer column 5 lakh 10000 is it clear to all yes then interest on investment is given 7% interest on investment interest on investment is 70000 so 7% interest on investment you have to remember that that percentage and all we have we have to consider while preparing balance sheet the next charity show proceeds charity show proceeds we have told income will be shown here from that expenses will be deducted and the remaining is shown here outside 20000 instead of like this instead of showing like this we can show uh, charity proceeds here in the credit side and charity show expense in the debit side then also there is no mistake but we have consider here then next general donation specific donation we know that it will be shown in the balance sheet general donation is an income then deficit what do you mean by deficit deficit is the excess of expenditure over income the excess of expenditure over income okay here expenditure is more if you calculate you can find out that here expenditure is more because debit side it comes around 7 lakh rupees so that much is not there in the credit side so debit side is more 7 lakh is the total amount balance is 55000 so that is the uh, that is the deficit during the year that will be transferred to capital fund deficit means the excess of expenditure over income okay now next uh, balance sheet we will prepare in the next continuing video okay this much is clear to all okay thank you